good morning to you all dear students so today we are gonna start with a new block that is block 23 and the topic of our discussion for today is the important latitudes okay so let's get started our aim for today is students will be able to explain the significance of and mark the important latitudes all right and the resources needed is a globe, atlas, worksheet, S1, your notebook, and your exit content book. So the keywords that we will use today is latitude, equator, tropic of Cancer, Arctic Circle, tropic of Capricorn, Antarctic Circle. So let us learn the meaning of the keywords first of all. So what is latitude? It is an imaginary line around a planet running parallel to the planet equator. They are known as latitude. And what is equator? <clears throat> a similar great circle on any sphere, especially on a celestial body. The example, this is a planet, okay? And equator are the circle, okay? A similar great circle on any sphere especially on a celestial body, the announced equator. And what is Tropic of Cancer? The parallel of latitude 23 into 30 north of the equator, the announced Tropic of Cancer. And what is Arctic Circle? The parallel of latitude that runs 66 degree 33 uh, by 39 north of the equator, the announced Arctic Circle. And what is Tropic of Capricorn? The parallel of latitude 23 degree 30 south of the equator the announced tropic of Capricorn. Lastly, what is Antarctic Circle? <clears throat> the line which ma marks approximately the northmost place in the southern hemisphere, the Ananas Antarctic Circle. Okay, now I'm gonna show you a globe okay, and then uh one out i want all of you to point out the horizontal line so what are lines of latitude how many lines of latitude are there in all you have to name one important line of latitude that you have learned about okay so i'm going to show you this one figure one okay latitude as you can see from the globe these are north pole north pole 90 degree north this is south pole 90 degree south and this is 66 5.5 23 5 5 and this is zero equator that is at the at the center okay and the upper one above the equator down on us tropic of cancer it is 23 5 degree north and above all it is the arctic circle that runs 66 5 degree north and the below the equator it is known as tropic of capricorn and it is 23 degree 5 south antarctic circle that is 66.5 degree south all right i hope you got it the middle one is called the equator up to that equator it is known as tropic of cancer down to the equator it is known as tropic of capricorn and the topmost layer it is known as the antarctic circle and the upmost layer it is known as the arctic circle okay how we got it now see the lines of latitude they are imaginary okay so horizontal lines running east west and circling the earth there are 180 lines of latitude in all, okay? So they are re referred to by stating the degree of the latitude, followed by either north represented as N, south represented as S from the equator, as we have seen from the picture. So for example, 20 degree north, so the equator or zero degree latitude is the most important line of latitude okay remember it is the most important line of latitude the equator which divide the sphere okay 
so the equator divides the earth into two equal halves means equator is always in the middle which divide the earth into equal half okay so the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere it is known as the northern in the north upper part southern in the uh, down part okay so the up one is the northern hemisphere the south one is the southern hemisphere and it is divided by equator all right hope you are clear now now today we will learn about four important lines of latitude we will learn about four important lines of latitude talking about this okay four important lines of latitude arctic circle tropic of capricorn tropic of uh, cancer capricorn and antarctic circle we're gonna learn about the four important lines of latitude okay so i want all of you to read the story okay in journeys of the latitude in your exit content book and then you have to refer to the political map of the world in your atlas to answer the question given at the end of each account okay in your notebook so i want all of you to read the stories the two story in journey of the latitude okay so this story you will find here in your textbook okay so you will find in your textbook the story of the two latitude all right in page number 18 okay in page number 18 and 17 you'll find all right so you'll find even in your textbook okay so journey of the latitude story one and story two so you please read both the story okay from your textbook story one and story two story two you'll find here in the same page okay i'm not going to read for you because of time constraint so i want all of you before you answer the given question please and please read the two story journey of the latitude story one journey of the latitude story two so please uh, i'm i am requesting you all to please read the given passage okay from story one and story two from your exit content book all right so as you have read okay here are the questions for you okay i'm not going to wait for you so you can pause the video and then after you are done reading here is a question for you okay so what are the special names given to the two latitudes and which hemisphere are they found in which other countries and ocean do they pass through and what are the special features of these latitudes i hope you're getting the question what are the special names that is given to the two latitudes which hemisphere are they found in which other countries and ocean do they pass through what are the special features of these latitudes all right so please listen carefully okay as i explained to you you will see that latitude 23 and half degree north is called the tropic of cancer all right it is called the tropic of cancer and it is found in the northern hemisphere similarly it passes through the arabian sea india the bay of bengal and bangladesh all right and the tropic of cancer is the northernmost point on earth to receive the direct rays of the sun so latitude 66 and half degree north is called the arctic circle it is found in the northern hemisphere it passes through the countries of sweden and finland all right so all the places north of the arctic circle experience at least one whole day each uh, each year during which the sun does not set and one whole day during which the sun does not rise all right so talking about uh, okay let me show you the globe okay talking about this one the north pole the south pole tropic of cancer tropic of capricorn okay 
So all our answer is based on the globe as I have shown to you. Is that clear? Now, all right. Uh, you please locate latitude twenty three and half south and all right. Please remember here yeah, the direction. North is referring to this one, south is referring to this one. As we have learned, the middle line it is called the equator. All right, and up to the equator it is tropic of Cancer. Down to the equator you it is tropic of Capricorn. All right, the upper one is the Arctic Circle. Down one is the Antarctic Circle. I hope you still remember that one. So you look at uh, latitude twenty three half south and latitude 66 half south on the political map of the world and what are the special names given to the two latitudes and how are they different from the tropic of cancer and the arctic circle all right so if you don't know i will explain to you okay so please listen carefully so latitude 23 and half south is called the tropic of capricorn okay remember uh tropic south means referring to this one again okay. so 22 middle one is the equator 22 and half uh, 23 and half all right it is called tropic of capricorn okay and latitude uh, six latitude 66 half south is called the the Antarctic Circle so this line 66 half south it is called the Antarctic Circle all right so both latitudes are in the southern hemisphere unlike the tropic of cancer and the tropic of uh, Arctic Circle which are in the north okay so you find that tropic of cancer and the arctic circle they are both in northern side okay northern hemisphere all right so the tropic of capricorn is the southernmost point of to receive the direct rays of the suns of the sun okay so all places south of the antarctic circle they experience at least one whole day each year okay during which the sun does not send set okay for this portion all right of the earth and one whole day which the sun does not rise means the southernmost point of the hemisphere okay the southernmost point of the southern hemisphere talking about this portion okay so they experience one whole day with sun one whole day without sun sunlight okay all right so last question what do you think the climate is like between the tropic of cancer and the tropic of capricorn and why so what do you think the climate is like between these two uh between these two between the tropic of cancer and between the tropic of capricorn so what do you think the climate is like between the tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn and why for, for example, this is the sun rays again okay, facing them. So what do you think is the tropic of Cancer and the tropic of Capricorn? What will be the climate? Alright, so we know this region must have a hot climate. Alright, because the region received the direct rays of the sun. Okay, the region of tropic of capricorn uh, cancer and capricorn again okay. they received the direct rays from the sun all right because of that the climate will be a hot climate is that clear so things to do you have to complete worksheet s1 along with practice question number one two and three okay practice question one two and three you please do along with your worksheet s1 okay so that's it. Take care, stay safe and have a good day.